Hi everybody, I'm Mallory from Quebec Homestead. Welcome to my channel. And uh, I, today I'm gonna show you actually which tomatoes made the cut on my list. I am really excited to share these with you because I have some tomato plants that take only 50 days to produce. 50 days? 50 days. Today it is March 17th, so happy St. Pat Patrick's Day. And I am going to be seeding out my first seeds of the season, which are no, not tomatoes, but they are going to be, um, I'm gonna have peppers, onions, celery, and leeks. These are pretty much the first things that I seed every year at this time of the year. Because I am in zone three, my last frost date is around in between June 15th and like 20th. So that's pretty much when I can plant everything outside. And uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. I just really wanted to share with you guys these ones because man, 50 days, that's, that's just crazy. And I got a few of them, like three of them that, that take in between 50 to 60 days to produce. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with showing you the longest producing tomato, the one that takes the longest, and that is my beef steak. Remember last year I tried my upside down planter? Well, I stole suckers from my plant last summer and I got them inside and I made them root and I planted them back in this planter and I'm keeping it in the house. So I planted this out just a few weeks ago and look. Do you see that? That's a flower, guys. This is my other one, so I'm doing the test again. I'm having one in the pot and one in the upside down planter. So far, just like last year, it's following, it's following the same tendency. The one in the pot is a lot bigger and producing um, flowers first rather than this one that's in the pot. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so on to the tomatoes. I'm gonna start with the ones that are longer to produce and work my way up to the shorter season ones. All right, so the first tomato on my list takes 70 to 75 days to produce and it is an in, uh, indeterminate variety. And these ones are good for tomato paste. They are an Italian Amish and they're all organic. So it's an Amish organic Italian tomato. It's supposed to be good for like tomato paste, which I don't, I have not tried to do tomato paste yet. Um, so I'm gonna try it this year. The next tomato on my list is Oregon Spring. I have been growing Oregon Spring tomatoes since the beginning of my gardens here, and I just love them. They're a very good uh, variety if you wanna have big tomatoes without having an indeterminate. So this is a determinate variety, and it is known to start, you can plant these out a little bit, a couple weeks before your last frost in the spring and you just have to cover them up and I have tried it last year it did survive so I mean I, it's tried and tested I recommend this variety they get uh, I, I'm gonna say this in grams it's 150 to 350 grams the tomatoes they're pretty big and and stocky Are you eating yes yeah is that spicy yeah <laughs> all right so 70 days for the Oregon spring is a it's a pretty good tomato this is a new one as well. It's also a, a it's also a tomato. Sorry, I'm having a hard time speaking in English. It's a tomato. It's a tomato. Thank you. <laughs> it's a, also an indeterminate variety. It is an Italian tomato. It's ten fingers from Napole Napoli Naples. There you go. So it's called <laughs> ten fingers from Naples. Can you see that? All right, yes. So it's got a really cool looking form on it. It takes 65 to 75 days to produce. Again, for produce for everyone. Everyone, for everyone. And what's really cool, if you look at the shape of it, it says that these tomatoes oh, are the best cute. for dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna try to sun dry some tomatoes this year. So this is the variety that made the pick as well. The next one, takes 65 days and that is a determinate variety and it is also an Italian tomato and it's called Ropreco. Ropreco paste? 
So it's good for all your canning goods and all that good stuff. It's very really good this. It is, isn't it? <laughs> all right. So the next tomato that I'm gonna show you. Oh, my camera's crooked, isn't it? Okay. It's still be thinny. Yeah. It is a little crooked. This tomato is tried and tested. It's always my first producer until this year because you guys know I got some that are gonna be like 50 days that are coming up. This one here is called the Manitoba and it, it takes 58 to 65 days to produce. It's a micro mini pa. It's a what? It's a micro mini pa. It's a micro mini pa. Okay, I think I, think I understand. It's a Manitoba. <laughs> Manitoba. It's a Manitoba. Manitoba. It's a Manitoba. Yes. Good job. Oh, yeah, let's do that again. No, no, you gotta, you gotta hit it right. Yeah. You wanna do this? Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Good job. <laughs> she's so strong. She's showing her muscles. Okay, let me continue the video. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so these Manitobas are really good for sliced tomatoes. They are um, a little bit more on the acidic side. I really enjoy them. Just They're just really refreshing to eat during the summer and they're also one of the first bigger ones to produce so it's always nice to have these ones. And they're really resistant for a whole bunch of diseases as well. I don't know how to translate them exa exactly but I'm going to say it and I'm going to try to write it here on the screen. So it's a... Uh, Fusarios, <laughs> that's in French, and the other one is Flétrissement Verticillion. Do you guys have, does that ring a bell? I don't know. I've never had problems with these tomatoes so far and I haven't had any of these uh, diseases, so I guess I was lucky. It's a determinate variety. Manitoba is a ter determinate variety. And I and I always save seeds of these guys and I'm probably going to be more on top of it this year to save seeds because I just... Like, I'm so, so excited about these tomatoes. The next tomato on my list is a Russian tomato, and you probably have heard about it before because I know a whole bunch of YouTubers and friends actually grow these, and they're called the Meskovich, and it's from Russia. And it takes 60 days to produce, and they're very used to cold climates. And it is an indeterminate variety, and the fruit that produces on them uh, vary in between 110 grams and 170 grams. So I just don't know like the production, like how much volume is on each plant, but I'm really excited to be trying these guys too. We're going into the 50 day range tomatoes. Oh, you turned on the light? So beautiful. All right, this one takes 55 days. It is a smaller plant, really good for growing in a pot. It is called the Standard <laughs> Glacier. <laughs> Alright, so it's a very compact plant. It grows up to 60 centimeters. For you guys that are not a, a, familiar with centimeters, I do have a ruler here. All right, so the glacier tomato will grow its first fruit and you'll be able to pick it when it is going to be 60 centimeters long, which is two times the height of a ruler because this is 30 centimeters. And it'll continue to produce uh, until it's twice that height. So they're really stocky. And it, they say that this tomato, the glacier, has... It sort of looks like a uh, like a potato plant, which they are in the same family, so I mean. And last but not least, this is the tomato that takes 50 days to produce. Now just before I tell you what this tomato is, I'm just going to say that I am going to be, right after this, seeding out my onions and I'm going to do the lazy way. It seriously is the easiest foolproof way, fastest for lazy gardeners like me to uh, plant out onions. So that's gonna be my next video. That's probably gonna be here. And my 50 day, thank you. You wrote everything down, thank you. She's taking notes. This is the tomato that takes 50 days and it is called the sub-arctic cherry tomato. I'm really excited to, to plant this out. So I will talk to you later because somebody's at my door. Bye.